So there's a school where all the students are inspired, where all the staff and teachers feel engaged, and every day there are opportunities for new learning and growth. Well, what school am I talking about? I'm talking about your school. Because in this episode, whether you're an aspiring principal, a practicing principal, we're gonna give you five strategies that are gonna help you transform your school into a high achieving academic machine. So these are strategies that work for me and I know they'll work for you as well. Grab a pen, a piece of paper and get ready to take some notes because we're starting right now. Hey everybody, Gordon Emerson here, superintendent of schools and Gallup certified strengths coach. On this channel, we leverage my experience from classroom teacher to school district superintendent to help you go further, faster in your educational leadership journey. If this is your first time with us and you wanna learn more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss any cool updates or any of our newest episodes and content. All right, so tonight I'm feeling inspired. So I just finished a session with a group of aspiring superintendents and these are rock star leaders that want to take that jump and leap from their current positions into the seat of superintendent. And it made me feel this passion and this inspiration around thinking about how do we build systems of high achievement and, high, and cultures that are thriving and transformative. Well, at the school site level, the principal has the ability to create just that. Having served as a high school principal, having served as a school site leader, there is, there's a profound responsibility and there's a profound opportunity to be able to transform and change a school community, a part of the town, a part of your region by the performance, the accolades, the attributes, and the achievements of the high school or any school in that particular community. And so we wanna talk about today, the opportunity to share high leverage strategies that will help you be an absolutely transformational principle. So we're gonna share five strategies and let's jump right in. All right, so strategy number one for being a successful principal is you have got to be a visionary leader. Now being a visionary leader as a principal, the principalship, that position, is one of a few 100% authentic leadership positions. There really, in public education, there are really two visionary leadership positions. School site principal, school district superintendent. Many of the other positions support the overall vision, direction, guidance of those two positions that I just mentioned. School site principal and school district superintendent. So as visionary leaders, school site principals have the ability to think big picture, to think strategic, and to think about putting, putting scholars at the center of our work and thinking about a better place, a better space, and a better world for those students. And in response to thinking about the better place, better space, then we think about what are the programs, the services, the initiatives, the staff, what are all of the pieces that we need to put around our students to help them be successful? That's visionary leadership. And to be a successful principal, you wanna get really, really crystal clear on how do you develop that visionary leadership? And I'll tell you again, it's putting students at the center of the discussion and then it's about articulating that vision in such a way that you invite as many stakeholders as possible, both on campus and outside of the campus, in and around the campus, to be a part of that visionary. Developing shared vision, where all of our hands together are gonna lift this school up and take it into a place and a space that we haven't clearly even articulated yet because we don't know how great we can make the place until we do it together. It is your job as the principal to create that type of engaging and inviting environment. So being a visionary leader is a critical skill that successful principals have, they leverage, and they continually rely on that visionary leadership to guide them and guide their staff and guide their school to the next level of success to the next level of achievement. And that's successful 
school principal strategy number one. All right, successful school principal strategy number two, building strong relationships. At the core of our work as leaders, we have got to be able to build strong relationships. Building strong relationships is about being able to galvanize the knowledge, the skills, the expertise, the hearts and minds of stakeholders from all around our school community, both internal and external. But being able to build shared understanding, shared commitments, being able to develop goals and dreams and aspirations that we move together towards is at the heart of building strong relationships. Strong relationships allow us to be resilient. It allows us to create durability within our systems. It allows things to continue to grow and develop in times of challenge, turmoil, in times of grief or sadness. When you have strong relationships with people, you can hold fast to those relationships and help to continue to move forward and stay moving towards progress. As principals, you have got to be able to build strong relationships, which means sometimes humbling yourself, which means sometimes thinking less about you and thinking more about everybody else. Not just one or two other people, but everybody else in the system, like what are their needs? What are their hopes and their dreams? And then how do we then leverage wanting and knowing more about their hopes and their dreams to create that? Because we would be the most empowered and the most positioned to be able to do that as the principal. Because principals are leaders and have the ability to lead, which means they can create the system, which means they can develop the system, which means they have the ability to nurture and cultivate the system. So one of the core tenets of being a successful school principal is building those strong relationships because they will help you in times of challenge. They will help you continue to stay on the path towards progress to help your students, to help your staff, and help your school community. So building those strong relationships, successful strategy for principals number two. All right, before we move into strategy number three, share with us in the comments below, what are some of your best relationship building strategies? We wanna use the comments to build a wealth of knowledge and a wealth of bank of ideas around how to build strong relationships. So share with us in the comments below your best strategies for building strong relationships. And with that, we're gonna to move to strategy number three. Successful school principal strategy number three. We want to foster professional development. Our schools are the best learning labs anywhere. It's where the sole goal and function of that entire organization, that entire institution is to grow the skills, the knowledge, the expertise of everybody in that building, not just the students, but the staff as well. And we as principals, have a duty and a responsibility to create opportunities for our staff to continually grow and develop their skills and knowledge. And the way we do that is through professional learning opportunities. We want to open our opportunities up for as many people as possible. We want to create a thirst for learning, a thirst for knowledge. We want to create as many lifelong learners as possible. I go through this work every day as a lifelong learner reading more books, reading more articles, staying up to date, staying abreast of the most important things. So that way I can better serve our students. I can better serve our staff. I can better serve our school community. Professional development and fostering that, having that as a core value is a exponentially important strategy for principals. Create platforms, create on ramps for your staff to get that learning to get those learning opportunities, to build their skills, to build their knowledge, to build their capacity, because then they get to pour that back into the students that they serve. We want our principals to continually find ways to engage students in different ways, to engage students in better ways, to engage students in more innovative and creative ways. 
And the way that we do that is we create space and time and opportunity for our staff to go and learn from others. Others can be across campus. Others can be across town. Others can be in a different state, in a different place, in space. That'll be for you to determine. But as a strategic thinker and as a strategic leader, you will find ways to create those opportunities. And then those things will pay dividends because your staff is gonna come back invigorated with new knowledge, with new experiences, with new material, new information that they will pour back into your students. So if you wanna think about high leverage strategies for increasing the outcomes, for developing the culture that you are looking for as a successful school principal, so you wanna think about the opportunities to leverage your knowledge and your expertise of your staff to be a successful school principal, it's creating the opportunity for professional development, fostering that, making that a core tenant of your leadership, making that a core commitment to your staff as a leader, is making sure you foster professional development and giving them lots of opportunities for professional learning. That's critically important. All right, successful school principal strategy number four. We wanna make sure that we are effective communicators. Now, I know this one's sometimes hard, it's sometimes difficult. You know, that's not actually, that's actually not true. Being an effective communicator is always hard and always difficult. Because no matter how much we think or believe that we're communicating effectively, we can always do it better. We can always do it better. There's another way to communicate it. There's another opportunity to communicate it. There's another day to communicate it. There's another venue to communicate it. So being an effective communicator includes being transparent, being clear, being concise, but it also means being vulnerable, being vulnerable to, to admit that there's always more to do in this area. And sometimes we can get stuck in our own way. And I would challenge you as a successful school principal to get out of your own way, to not be arrogant, to not be uh, self-serving, to not be to not think that you always have all of the answers, but to listen and to think and to reflect on the feedback that you're getting around communication. Because to be an effective communicator means that it is a 24-7, 365 job. We're always communicating. We're communicating morning, noon, and night. We're communicating on weekends when necessary. We're communicating during the summer. We're communicating during breaks. We're creating all these different on-ramps to share everything that's happening on our campuses, everything that's happening within our schools to all of our stakeholders. Sometimes those messages, those stakeholders are our staff. Sometimes those messages are our students. Sometimes those messages are our community and families. But just understanding that effective communication is ongoing, it's nonstop. And if it's not something that you're comfortable with, if it's not something that you're willing to accept, that it is a 365 responsibility, then you will have a challenge being a successful leader. This is just, this is just me being honest. This is just me being direct and clear. Communicating is hard. The best, the best leaders, the best CEOs, the best presidents, the best the best of the best tell you that communicating is challenging. So we should embrace that. We should look at that as a challenge and as an opportunity to say, okay, what are all the ways that I can do this well? And let me go out and get feedback. Let me ask, let me invite people into this discussion with me to say, tell me as your school principal, what are the best ways that I can communicate with you to meet you where you are? that will help you feel engaged, that will help you feel connected, that will best serve you, your student, that will best serve you in your professional development, your professional journey, the best way I can support you as you're trying to lead our community, lead our city, whatever the case may be. But opening ourselves up 
and asking for help and asking for feedback is one of the most effective communication strategies because that vulnerability, that realness, that humility of being willing while you're sitting in an executive level position as the leader of a school, but humbling of yourself to ask somebody for some help, to ask them for some feedback, and to invite them into providing you support and knowledge and expertise about how to do your job more effectively, well, that's a powerful strategy that loops back to a previous strategy, building strong relationships. The more we talk, the more we develop relationships, the more effective we are in communicating. These strategies tie together. They're never, they're never ever in isolation. But the more we think about how do we do these strategies better, the more transformational of a leader that we're gonna become. All right, so thinking through those strategies, focus on being, being an effective communicator and having effective communication strategies, and that's number four. All right, before we move to strategy number five, share with us in the comments below, what's your go-to strategy for communicating effectively? Do you use email, text messages, videos? What type of strategy has been most effective for you? Share that with us in the comments below because we're gonna continue to build this list of resources and ideas and strategies for the benefit of the community. So share with us in the comments below your go-to communication vehicle or strategy. All right, let's move on to strategy number five. So strategy number five is to leverage your ability to be a strategic problem solver. If there was a skill out of this list that was most suited for what you were actually hired and paid to do, it is to solve problems. To solve the problems of increasing student achievement, to solve the problems of building campus climate, to solve the problems of balancing the budget, to solve the problems of making sure that all the programs have the, what they need, to solve the problems of we have a hiring shortage. Like those are all things that you are absolutely hired and paid to do. And all of the other four strategies tie back to your ability to identify, assess, and come up with solutions to complex problems. This is the superpower of a successful school principal, the ability to solve problems. And we solve problems because we enlist the skills, the knowledge, and the expertise of other people. We do not solve problems as a successful school principal by ourselves in isolation. It takes a team. It takes the strategic ability of identifying people, bringing them together, articulating to them what the challenges and what the problems are, and then creating the opportunity and the space for them to then be able to start to come up with solutions to the problem. That is what you are actually paid to do, is to leverage the skills and the knowledge and the expertise of other people to solve problems. The problems all come to you as the principal. They all come to you. And then your ability to again assess and then well, identify and then assess and then be able to know who are the people within our system, who are the people on my team that I need to know, identify, talk to, leverage, engage to bring on board to be able to help solve this problem. Whether it's a staffing problem, a scheduling problem, a program problem, a community-based problem, a student performance problem, a student behavior problem. All of those problems, which are very real, which you are absolutely gonna have to deal with, call for a different set of skills, which means calls for a different set of professionals to tackle it. And your skill is going to be to determine who, when, what, where, and how to be able to solve those problems. That's strategic problem solving. We don't throw the same blanket response to every single problem. We strategically address those problems based on, again, what is needed in that moment in that particular circumstance. And so your ability to strategic, strategically address that is an absolutely critical skill to being a successful school principal. So when we think about 
solving problems, when we think about communicating effectively, when we think about fostering professional development, when we think about building strong relationships, when we think about building a visionary leader, we are talking about the core skills of successful school principal leadership. We think all principals need to be empowered with these types of skills to be able to be successful and to be able to be in a position to transform the educational experience and the lives for other students. So if you check out this next video, it's gonna help you continue to refine your expertise and your skills as a school site principal to help you be successful for the benefit of your students and of your staff. And if you want more information about coaching, resources, anything like that, check the description below. But check out this next video because this next video is gonna give you a number of skills that are gonna help you be successful as you continue to grow and develop your skills as a school site principal, practicing or aspiring. We look forward to seeing you on the next one and be well, everyone. Thanks. Check out this video. It's right there. Thanks, everyone.